that's your choice. You'll break? Okay. Tower Yupan won the lag and will break. shouldn't be too difficult to just lay onto this bunch of reds but we know you cannot fail and that's why he's giving it a bit of extra pace and that's the upshot of it I think that's what you see players push into the bunch harder for the simple reason that uh, they can't afford to fail and then they knock a red on that's what happened there done well because it was, took a while to get the spider from underneath the table there One thing that's not in doubt about Chao Yu Peng is his nerve. He once Eight. did a bungee jump off a skyscraper somewhere in China. I'd rather him than me. And he's not got enough nerve to cut that red and open the bunch, though, has he? So that's more difficult than a bungee jump, or more worrying, maybe. But Chao Yu Peng, eight. He could have pulled that and ploughed it through the bunch of reds. Didn't fancy it. I must admit, a favourite of mine is David Grace. Really like him. Top lad and a uh, very decent player. I wouldn't have thought he was entirely suited to this. Because he's not a very quick player, but he's done well so far. That could have cost him a lot more than eight. He must, must be pleased just to have been punished by that many points. Grace plays out of the Northern Snooker Centre in Leeds, a great home of the game. It was the first purpose-built snooker centre when the game started to explode in the late 70s. Yes, it's outlived a lot of others, hasn't it, that club that, have, that opened up afterwards. Well, I'll tell you what, he's, he's saying he's sorry. Because that's etiquette, but he isn't really all that sorry. And he's given himself a wonderful chance. What does Chow Yu Peng do here? Oh, he's got to hit one, but. Well, he's hit that one, but I tell you, it might, he might get a clap, but it's not a lot different to ball in hand where it's finished. perfectly on the blue but the fact that he's straight he'll take on that red on the left and of course the black is there now it's open well you see that he's a big lad because look at that he's played to the left of the blue because he's got such a good reach Six. He's a giant David Grace the tallest player on the tour he is however seven four and a half stone lighter than uh, when he was playing a year or two ago because he's gone on a, a serious diet so he's doing really well in that score playing well and he's in 14 Fifteen. That's a very good shot. Did have a lot of room to play with there. He shows nice touch. Like I can say, the fact that he's tall, he can get some elevation over the top of the red that's in his way. And it wasn't a difficult pot, actually. 23. Well, he showed us what a fine player he is when he reached the UK semi-final that Clive was speaking about. 
Surprised first. Surprised a few players there. Came back for a memorable win against Martin Gould. A long way back. I think Better he was 5-1 one. One down and 1-6-5. Ten second right, shots clock back now and, uh, in operation. Kept his cool, kept him on the tour. But you're seeing the way he's making this break, and the cue ball has so far been on a string. 38. Meaning that it's been under complete control. Thirty-nine. Now, where's his next red coming from? He looked at something to the right middle. <clears throat> well, that might be absolutely perfect. It might be the one place you could put the cue ball where you can see a red. 46. He's on it. It's a fine shot. Beautiful positional shot. Four break this has been. Does he continue? Is a question. There was an argument that he could have played safe there, but he looks to have done no damage. David Grace, 54. Terrific break of 54 that. To go 46 in front. Is there a plant there? Oh, wow. Well, David Grace will be most disappointed to have. Given that shot One. back to Chow Yu Peng. That was something of a gift. I think Chow realised that the plant was on. If so, maybe he should have played better position short of the ball line. But as it happens, he's knocked the brown into the middle. Yes, Five. there's still three minutes left, just under a long time. Well, this is turning into a really good frame. As good as anything we've seen. Six. Because Yu Peng is still in it. Oh. Well, a gross, unforced error. Time constraint or not. Yes, he was trying to just avoid the pink and he forgot the pot, didn't get the position anyway. Might be forced into this, and if this goes in, well, anything could happen. Well, he really was hoping there for an outrageous fluke. Now, does David Grace have to go for the pot here? I'd say not. That was a good idea to forget ordinary. Snooker evaluations there. In conventional snooker, he would have gone for that. Well, that's right. He's done all the offensive play by getting the early 54 break now. Someone singing on his own in the crowd. If he's got enough time to get 41 points here, that's how many he needs. I can't believe there's enough time on the clock. So it looks to me like it's going to be David Grace, and couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Choir in the background. Oh! Well, it's all over now. This is academic. Yeah! David Grace got control of the frame. A very nicely controlled 54 break. 
and Shao Yupeng was unable to mount any meaningful seven, reply. Six, David Grace, through to the last eight then.